Now that you have Zotero installed and running, it's time to start building resource collections to use for research. Zotero provides a couple of ways to pull web content and generate information, and this video will cover the basic features. So what are resource collections? Just like folders in a computer system, Zotero saves resources within folder-like collections, which are shown in a list on the left of the screen. Zotero refers to this collection list as a library, with the default name showing as My Library. You can create a collection by clicking the New Collection button on the top left of the Zotero interface. Alternatively, you can right-click the list to find the same function. When you click the button, you will need to enter a name for your new collection. When naming a collection, it's a good idea to think of a meaningful name that will help you sort your research content, such as the name of the assignment or topic. You can make as many collections as you need, so make them as specific as you like. As mentioned in our Getting Started with Zotero video, the Zotero connector sends web content directly from a browser into a Zotero resource collection. With Zotero open and the Zotero connector installed and visible next to the search bar, you'll begin to see the extension detecting web content. You can click this button to save individual pages of content as you come across them, selecting which collection it should be saved to. Depending on where you're locating resources, you can speed things up by saving multiple resources at once. Click on the extension after searching within a library's online collection or getting results from an online database, and you'll be presented with a checklist that will allow you to save many resources at once. A large amount of resources may take some time to save to Zotero, and you can see the progress from within the extension's pop-up. If Zotero Connector is unable to detect an online resource, or if there's another reason why it can't save something to the app, you can enter the resource's information to add it manually. Click the green plus sign near the middle top of the Zotero app and fill in as much information as you can, including the URL or permalink. The resource will be saved in the currently opened collection in the same manner as if you had saved it via the Zotero connector. As you can see, there are many ways to build up your resource collection within Zotero. And once your resource materials are in one spot, you'll have an easier time keeping track of the most valuable sources. So far, we've learned the basics of using Zotero for research, but there's still more help it can provide to make the process easier. Take a look at some of our other videos that might improve your experience with Zotero. Happy researching!